Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and clean the Ruger PC carbine bolt. Now, I didn't do this in the original cleaning video because, in my opinion, just a simple wipe off, you know, field strip, disassembly, reassembly, very easy to do that I didn't think it was really necessary. But I did have a viewer reach out to me that said he does compete with this firearm. And after four to 500 rounds, it does get pretty carbon fouled up and mucked up. And he wanted to know if I could show people how to disassemble and clean it. Well, well, it's really not that hard to do. I just didn't do it in the original video and you can and today we're going to go ahead and take you through that process. So first of all, what kind of supplies do you need to do this? First things first, get yourself some cotton swabs. They will definitely come in handy. If you don't have it, you know, just a pin punch set, just a roll pin punch set or a punch set is really handy to have. This is an old set that I bought from Harbor Freight. I've got like 10 or 12 of these. You're going to need one. I don't know, probably about maybe a quarter inch, eighth of an inch. And uh, we'll show you, you're going to need that in order to take out the extractor. Uh, as for cleaning oils and lubricants, you know, you can use REM oil, Ballastol, you know, Safari Land CLP. I'm a big fan of cleanse oil because it leaves a nice clean surface that's not overly greasy, but it's nice and lubricated. It protects against rust and so on. I've also got those as wipes. So if you're at this part or you're watching this video, either A, you're curious about the bolt and how it disassembles to be clean because you need to do it, or B, you've gone through watching a cleaning video and they didn't show you how to clean the bolt and you're at that point that you want to clean the bolt, okay? First First things first, we got some cotton patches with the cleaner on it. We got the pin punches ready to go. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and remove this uh, recoil uh, guide rod and spring. There's a bit of a weight in it. And just go ahead and wipe that off. Now this gun has had about 75, maybe 100 rounds put through it since I last featured it. You can disassemble this part further, but you don't really need to. Um, all you have to do is just take your cotton patch and just go underneath of it. You're almost gonna floss it, so to speak. Okay, just make sure it's nice and clean. You can hit it with a couple patches. Again, I'm just doing a couple drops of oil on every patch, and it looks a lot wetter or more lubricated in the video than it really is in real life, but all right. So we'll go ahead and just set that off to the side. Now there's a weight here that's gonna have to come out, and to get the weight out, you're gonna have to get the firing pin out of there, and there may be a spring that's in there too. You've got a couple little pins right here that have a tendency to pop out. Don't worry about it. You can put them right back in. Your extractor right here is held in with this pin, this little portion right there. And to get to it, you have to punch it out from the bottom side. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll just give everything a nice clean. So go ahead and grab your pin punch. And I think this might be maybe like an eighth of an inch. You'll just have to find whichever one's going to fit in the hole. And make sure that you push down on the extractor while you're doing this. There's a little tiny hole right there. I don't know if you can see it. You will when you look at it in the right light. There's a hole right there. And we're just gonna push that pin out, okay? So just go ahead and press on the extractor and then push on that. You're gonna feel some pressure against your finger and it's gonna come up looking just like that. Very, very simple. Just a single arm with the spring. Okay, we'll go ahead and take that out. And I'm already starting to feel that weight wanting to come out, but it can't because the firing pin's not out yet, okay? So there's your pin. Just go ahead and wipe off your pin and we'll set that off to the side. Again, a nice little coat of lubricant, but you don't want stuff extra oiled up and greasy. As you see the wear marks on the bolt, that's gonna be the indicator to you as to the place where you need to put your lubrication. You'll notice those, well, well your wear marks, sorry, I can't talk, uh, on the metal as you do this, okay? So go ahead and wipe off that extractor. Makes it very easy to replace these parts if you need to. Just kind of sit everything off to the side and just kind of group it all together. Okay, you got that little spring right there. Go ahead and wipe that guy off. Okay, simple enough. And now we need to get these little pins out. I had them just simply fall out when I flipped it over. So why don't we just go ahead and see if we can't tap it and get them to come out. Okay, it seems like they have a little bit of tension on them. All right, let me go grab a little tiny screwdriver and we will pop those guys out and we will continue. Yeah, they don't take a whole lot of pressure. Since I got rubber gloves on here, I can't really get my finger underneath, but you can just pry them up with a little screwdriver and uh, just go ahead and pop them out. These are what I believe secure the bolt face into the bolt. Go and give that a wipe off. And again, even after 100 rounds, this gun was perfectly clean when I took it out. It, uh, these parts are definitely dirty again. You can see that. So set that little pin off to the side. Okay, we're going to push the other one out of here, and we'll prep another cotton patch. Again, it will just come right up here as you pull up on it with some tension. This guy's a little bit tighter. There we go. Okay, now what happens is the bolt face also just comes out because there's no pins keeping it in place. So the spring is gonna cause it to pop out. You just gotta make sure that you reassemble it in the exact same order that it comes out in. And really it's just gonna match up like this when you put it back together, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Let's get that, uh, get that pin out of here. So when you reassemble it, that little bolt face is gonna have to be pushed back in, and then these two pins are gonna have to go back in to hold the bolt face into place. Now at this point, just go ahead and wipe off the bolt face, give it a nice clean. 
Uh, you can hit this up with a, a brush if you have one, a nice nylon bristle brush or an old toothbrush. To old toothbrush will work good for you. So take a Q-tip to that and give it a little bit of fine detail work. You guys can do the same. The part that's going to be a little hard to get clean is going to be this channel in here in the back. You obviously don't want to get any oil down there. Uh, you might be able to get your Q-tip in there a little bit. Just get in there and get that channel wiped out. There we go. As you guys can see this. Get that face there, the front of it. Go ahead and scrub it a little bit. Hit it with the clean side of your Q-tip. This part, it's okay if it's dry. Uh, you don't necessarily want a lot of oil in the area where your striker is going to come out. It's pretty dirty. Again, that's just 100 rounds. I said that before. So, All right, I'm going to go over with a couple Q-tips, and we will come right back, and we'll continue with the bolt disassembly. Okay, at this point, we got to get this weight out of here, and we got to get the firing pin and the spring out, so just go ahead and pull it out. That is pretty dirty. I might have to figure out if there's a way to get in there and get that channel cleaned out. If you guys have ever done a small channel like that, ever cleaned it, let me know. I don't think I can really get a patch pushed through there, so if you got some ideas, there might be some smaller uh, cotton swabs out there that we can use, so there we go. All right, so we got the uh, firing pin out. That is pretty dirty and fairly oily. You just want to leave it with a very minimal amount of lubrication on it at all. There's the spring for it. We're going to pull that off. You can also inspect the firing pin at this point. You can see how dirty, again, that has gotten. And this, like I said, this was totally clean when I, take it, when I, when I took it out there for the videos that we filmed with it. So I'm going to hit it. We're going to wipe off the spring. I'm going to put the spring back on. Okay. And uh, I'm going to actually hit it with a dry patch because it has just a little bit of lubrication on it, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be protected. We will just set that off to the side so you can't see it. All right, now the weight should come out if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Weight comes out. Go ahead and wipe off the weight. It's a tungsten weight. I mean, it definitely has some, some mass to it. It uh, weighs pretty good. So it's only going to go back one way, so you don't have to worry about messing this part up. It's not going to be a big deal. Now, at this point, you can put a couple drops of cleaner on, of oil. Uh, on your patch and go ahead and just wipe everything down wipe it all off I'm going to use one of these pre-soaked towels that I have right here from cleanse oil and just go ahead and wipe everything down There's a few specific parts you want to focus on Just go ahead and wipe it off. There we go Now this is a, a, a moving part that has a lot of metal to metal contacts so I'm going to leave a little more lubrication on this than I normally would you can almost think of this as your bolt carrier group Well, essentially that's what it is get the front of that get that all wiped off right there Give it a good scrub. Any place you start to see that, that finish starting to wear through, that's going to be your metal to metal contact. So it's going to be a little more lubricated than maybe you need. I'm going to dry out this channel inside of here and not leave much lubrication in here or on the bottom. We'll leave a little bit on the bottom here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Like I said, Cleanse Oil does a really good job getting stuff cleaned off. Okay, get the channels in the back right here too. Go and wipe those off. I'm going to take a, a dry patch. There's a lot of lubrication in here. Just this inside channel area where the weight sits. I'm just going to go ahead and dry that out. It does have a little protective amount of, of cleaner in there. It's good to go. Okay, just go ahead and set that down. Go ahead and wipe off the tungsten weight. And you're going to want to put that back in so that the holes match up. It's only going to fit in one way. And you'll be able to see all the way through if you've assembled it properly. You can see, you know, you'll be able to check and see the light through. That way you know you've got it installed properly. Actually, for now, let's take it out for just a second. So um, put yourself a drop of oil on a Q-tip. There we go. Again, we're using just the minimum that we need. This stuff does dry, and it dries to a nice kind of semi lubricated state like it's lubricated but it's not greasy like CLP it doesn't leave nearly as much muck on it as some of the other cleaners do that I use so you can see how gross that is when it comes out so we're gonna we're gonna apply that and then we're gonna wipe it off with the dry q-tip get all those channels wiped out again there's a lot of metal on metal contact okay so you can see how bad that is right and then just a single drop of oil we want to go back in and lubricate those channels all right so let's do that go ahead and re-lubricate it because what happens is the cleanse oil works as a cleaner initially and then a lubricant second. So when you put that second layer on there, that's going to be the lubricating coat. Whereas if you'd apply it, wipe it off, it's just uh, functioning as a cleaner, which is one good thing about it. Okay, we'll leave a little oil up here. Okay, get that front area. Yeah, you might be able to push a Q-tip through there or a long cotton swab. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that will go, but the channel doesn't look very dirty inside. It does. I can see some oil in there. But I think we're okay to go. So let's go ahead and begin the uh, reassembly process of the bolt. So here we go. Go ahead and drop that weight in there. All right, then at this point, we want to take that bolt face. You might want to maybe practice real quick getting everything to line up before you do this. So you can see how it's going to go. It's going to fit in just like this when you put it back together. 
Again, you can hit that with a, a dry patch if you want to. Apologize, this is off camera a lot of the time, guys. I'm doing this at an angle, so it's a little bit awkward. So go ahead and drop your firing pin and the firing pin spring back in the front. Okay, there you go. Okay, we'll go ahead and take your bolt face and you're gonna wanna push that back in. Now this time, you're gonna need to use one of these little disassembly pins that we pulled off earlier and that's gonna go in these two holes right here as you push everything back together, okay? So you can press it in with a little bit of pressure and then just go ahead and drop your pin right in there and I'll show it to you when we get done. There's two little holes here. It just goes right in, no problem. Like you see how one's, one's filled and the other one's not, okay? Go ahead and put that pressure back on there. Drop that second pin in there. She's good to go. Again, you can brush that off if you want to, if you see a lot of buildup on it, or a lot of brass, or a lot of fouling. This one's coming off pretty clean. I'm gonna hit that and leave it fairly dry, just the front of the, the face right there, because you don't want that grease going into that chamber. Okay, we got that all taken care of. Now what we need to do is put that extractor back into place, and the spring, so you've got your spring. Oh, what we wanna do real quick, before I forget, Let's go ahead and hit that channel because it might have some muck in it. So just go and put your fingers over the top of those two pins so they don't come out accidentally. Just go ahead and wipe in there. Wipe that out. Again, because of this is the blowback action, all that grease and all that muck is basically going back into one place. So we're going to hit that with the dry Q-tip after we wipe it out. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and hit this with single drop of oil. Again, that's all you really need. Again, like I said, you can use your stall or you can use your CLP or your hoppies. It doesn't matter. You use whatever cleaner works best for you. Okay, we'll go ahead and wipe that channel out. It's got a light lubricant in there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and take that spring and put it back in. So it's going to fit in this little hole, so it's going to look like that. Okay. Now at this point, this could be a little bit tricky. You're going to want to push this extractor back in. There we go. So that, you see those holes right there? The holes are going to line up and your pin's going to go in through the top, the pin that you pushed out with your punch, okay? So this might take a little bit of finagling. Again, trying to do this with gloves can be kind of tricky. Go ahead and preset your pin in there and then maybe move that extractor around a little bit until the pin pushes down. Eventually, you'll get it to go back in there. There we go. Just pop right in there. Everything should be nice and flat. And she looks good to go. Okay, now at this point, we will go ahead and slide the recoil unit back in and you can continue your disassembly cleaning and or reassembly process of the bolt so if you have any questions make sure you guys let me know if you have any tips or tricks or if you have an idea on how to clean out that firing pin channel let me know like i said a long uh, q-tip with a smaller brush on it would probably be the answer to that but i don't want to risk pushing something through there that's going to get stuck i might be able to push like two q-tips through there but i'm not going to bother so it is looking good. All right, so we'll go ahead and get you back to your cleaning process and your Ruger PC carbine. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, mash that bell. I got a lot of videos on the Ruger PC carbine. Check it out and uh, have fun, be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye.